Uh, intro. Like, it's intro time. Shush. Everyone, shut up. The next story I think we're going to jump to is we're going to talk Asmund Gold. So we're going to cover Asmund Gold's apology, his cancellation. We got a few things to cover. So without further ado, let's jump into that. Asmund Gold put out a video a couple days ago that That's is set up. Okay, so Asmund Gold, uh, let me pull up the article that is actually the setup. Um, la la la. He's been randomly just showing up in my uh, algorithm on YouTube. Well, it's because, okay. It I don't... just started a few months ago, too. Okay, so Asmund Gold had put out a bunch of, uh, apparently he's been talking about, like, Palestine and Israel has been a topic. What? That has come up everywhere. What's going in on all there? Cert- <laughs> uh, all versions of life. So, of course, Asmund Gold's going to say some things on it. He's one of the biggest streamers in the in the world and biggest on uh, I think is he the biggest on Twitch or is he? I have no idea what's going on on that horrible website. Sure, uh, but Asmund no Gold, opinion. Asmund Gold's huge. He's got millions of subscribers on YouTube, millions of followers on Twitch, and so Asmund Gold, you know, he's he's doing his thing, and Israel Palestine comes up, and he makes some pretty callous comments about Palestine and Palestinians, and just mm. basically saying the truth that they're all evil and bad. No, uh, Jesus, <laughs> no, uh, no. But he's saying fast track your cancellation. I yeah, no kidding. We we're doing a speed run here. We've worked so hard. Yeah. In the end, it didn't even matter. Uh, but no, he's uh, he's basically talking about the Palestine and the genocide of Israel, like the genocide of Israel, and he's talking about both sides of the of the story. And basically calling out the Palestinians as being bad, the bad side and the good versus evil of that you conversation. You take one side or the other on this topic on the internet, you're going to get hate for it. Well, here's the thing. I do. Oh, for sure. I do have one, I do have one side of this. Uh, but I actually bowed out of this one. I'm over it. I don't care. About Palestine. Well, I think that's more or less my perspective on it is if it's on the other side of a big body of water, like, <laughs> like, I, I, like what, what would constitute a big body of water? Like, like you don't care what the happens. The Great Lakes. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't care what happens on the other side of that. I don't care what happens in New York, Michigan, some kind of Wisconsin. I could see like the bottom tail of Wisconsin without it being on the other end of water. But, <laughs> but all the all the same is Asmund Gold's uh, was actually banned from Twitch uh, for these comments. At the same time, you have Hassan Piker interviewing like all these people and having horrible people on, and he's perfectly he's like insulated and pretty protected. It seems. But yeah. Asmund Gold issued an apology the other day, and it's already got two and a half million views on it. Uh, people want to know what's going on with this. And he more or less apologized. So he apologized, actually. actually. Um, I, watched the, I watched the whole thing, and his takes on it were he's basically covering it for about religious extremism is his, like— Yeah, he hates the religious, religious fundamentalism. Yeah. That's the thing he has a big problem with. And so when it comes to the Palestini, Palestinian-Israel conflict— you kind of look at the the Muslim population of that, and it's hard to differentiate that like reli- that religious sentiment from the everyday person who's trying to live a life in Palestine mm-hmm. because they keep voting for religious fundamentalism. So, it, but <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm keep I'm not trying <laughs> to keep inserting my position into this, but um yeah. So he did he he apologized. He talked about what was going on. Apparently, his dad was an influence in him coming back and making this this comment and how. People in his life were telling him to just chill out and calm down on this, and it's uh, it, to dis to disinvolve yourself from the topic. Um, I mean, granted, it is the start of uh, World yeah. War Three, but chill out, you know. People just got take to, yeah, it step by step. Yeah, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, it, right? Here's the thing: he shouldn't have apologized. <laughs> here's my position on it: they've been doing it for years. He should <laughs> he shouldn't have apologized. I mean, if he wants to change, if he wants to explain where he's at and change his worldview, which this seems more of a here's where I'm at with it, like an update rather than a full apology. He does say he's changed his perspective on things and has settled down and has a has had people who are Palestinian or pa- like people talk yeah, to him. Like he was kind of like had almost like a normie position. Like he didn't know much about what was going on. Mm-hmm. Like, does anyone really have all the fucking details about it? But no, yeah, they stole like the one piece of crucial information that everyone is missing about the middle east conflict is it all started over a stolen goat yeah <laughs> but uh so he's he's updated people he's talking about what he's going to be doing uh going forward he's going to be he's actually going to be cutting back on streaming it seems like he's focused more on mental like a mental health he's going to be going on a mental health journey now that's yeah that's gay keep streaming well he's he's <laughs> he's 
<laughs> he's still gonna stream. That's still gonna happen. He's still gonna put out streams. Um, but he's on my mental health journey. Well, he's. Could you imagine saying that to anyone in your friend group? Well, I mean, so here's. <laughs> oh, please I... do say that when when I... when I see you tonight. That'd be great. I can sympathize with the. I mean, we are a very small channel relative to his, like a speck. Yeah. Not that we are so relative to his, but I can see like just. If you're running a channel for 3 million subscribers and you also have a podcast and you also have his a entire company, life is online. Yeah. yeah, he he does not. This guy does not get five minutes like this guy's entire like he's Elon Musk level working on an entirely different field. But he's he's constantly doing shit. Yeah, I at least get nine yeah, hours. I can see why you need a break from it then. Yeah. And so for him, he's look. So what he's kind of said is that he's looking to like live more of a lo normal life, and he wants to fix a few things in in his life. Step outside once in a while. Step outside. He's gonna start cleaning his house. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna take showers. Clean your room. But no, he's he did a self assessment, and he had other people chime in on his on where he was at with his life and what they got their thoughts from it. And it sounds like he's gonna be doing a lot more things to try to improve on his life. And when he said he's gonna cut back on streaming, it's just that. He's still gonna to continue to stream. He's still huge and he will remain huge. 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 But huge. he's but he is gonna cut back. He's also taking a step back from his leadership roles in OTK and Starforge. So he's not gonna be like Well, they kinda of ousted him, didn't they? No, those are his uh those are his. So he he basically runs them. Now, um uh, I believe it was OTK put out a statement and we actually have that. Um, let me zoom in so you guys can read that too. Okay, so God. this was from October 16th. Is so that a first name? No. Oh. A few days ago, Asmongold made... So this is the comment from OTK, <laughs> so OTK Network. A few days ago, Asmongold made some comments that, even in his own words, were disgusting and abhorrent. OTK denounces all forms of discrimination and violence, and that sort of behavior cannot be tolerated. Yesterday evening, we spoke to Asmongold, and he will be stepping away from his roles at OTK and our affiliate companies, Starforge, Mythic, and Mad Mushroom. So, when they say, when they say uh, they denounce all forms of discrimination and violence, does that mean they're just Switzerland and every... Uh... Yeah. Well, obvi so <laughs> obviously, exactly obviously, this is a... <laughs> it's a very political answer. This is a pro-Palestinian tweet. No, <laughs> this is, yeah. Um, our, com our conversation, uh, our, in our conversation, Asmongold vehemently expressed his desire to change his life and broaden his perspective. Earlier today, he posted a video detailing his thoughts on on his comments, along with changes he plans to make, uh, plans on making moving forward. We hope Asmongold remains committed to the promises he has made to us, the community, and to himself. In the meantime, OTK will continue to fostering an open and inclusive work environment <laughs> dedicated to producing best li best live streaming content possible for our community and partners. <sighs> yeah, so, <laughs> so I mean, in his own video, he does talk about like how he's going to be stepping away from uh, the leadership roles in these platforms. So, I mean, this is just a this is just yeah, like uh, it's a very just like political news update yeah yep. <laughs> so so yeah as so otk's like response to the asman gold situation in my mind okay if you have an opinion on the middle east you are one of eight billion people who have an opinion on the middle east so the fact that you have a good or bad opinion is irrelevant like, i don't know i don't think the people in uganda really know that much about it fair enough fair enough like you can cut down know. a few billion give them a map and just see what happens i'm curious just airdrop in a bunch of globes <laughs> give, first airdrop in helmets oh, yeah. then airdrop in globes then in globes yeah you but <laughs> first drop but don't drop the helmets on the people that would be defeat the yeah, purpose of now the we helmets. gotta airdrop in styrofoam first you know. <laughs> we gotta this is what happens in ukraine and israel <laughs> with all of our hundreds of billions of dollars we just keep airdropping them in useless shit <laughs> that winds up hurting them in the end but you know as so Asmin Gold having an opinion on the Middle East, and even if it is a distasteful, it, which I don't think it was, I think it's pretty vanilla in its tone about like one faction or the other. Like the amount of ret rhetoric around how evil Israeli people are, he, his comment wasn't even on the same level as that towards the Palestinian people. So, I, don't know, I don't think a lot of people understand the re the restraint that Israel is. Holy exercising day. right now yeah. they're like the third most powerful military in the world they could <laughs> dominate that area yep. and they're really holding back they're dialing it down they're chilling out they're just vibing but as we're just vibing yeah my thought is take your ban um and absolutely do not apologize uh, first up 
as soon as he apologized, there was a whirlwind of like, oh, you apologize. You yeah, you're yeah, backing yeah. up, huh? Yeah, you... there is no right or wrong when it comes to nope. trying to appease people on the internet. Exactly. Now on right. the in- now on the inverse, there are plenty of people who think Asmongold did absolutely nothing wrong. It's like uh, some like, I just searched Asmongold, and one of the first ones is I don't know who Asmongold is, but he's right. The Palestinians are not victims. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he he's got a bunch of posts on here. He's talking about. Asmin Gold did nothing wrong. Like he's oh like, my god. A lot of people are still coming are still coming to his defense. I mean, you got a breakdown of crime and penalty for Islam. I mean, a lot of the shit the is the problem is being like uh he's mostly into like games, pop culture shit. Like he gives his opinions on. And as soon as you differ from that, and when you're most known by millions yep. of people for that, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, it's a big bad thing. But. Yeah, it's like pictures of his room. This is what he's trying to fix, I guess. He's gonna be cleaning his room. First off, this doesn't look that much worse than our place. Like, <laughs> That's a fuckload of cups, man. That's so many Dude, cups. That guy's that guy's never gonna be thirsty How again. Do you not just have a trash bag sitting right there that you just throw in, and as soon as you leave your room, you walk out with it. Yeah, uh, Hasman Gold makes Hasman Gold's culture ar- argument. I have not watched that video. Hasman Gold, I can't. I don't want to listen to Hassan. Asmin Gold is a nazi. He's a nazi. He's a nazi, says Loza. Because he's white. Yeah. So he does have defenders coming out and speaking on his behalf, just saying, like, this is a this is a global conflict. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has yeah. something to say on the Middle East. Everyone, some half the world thinks Israel's evil, half the world thinks Palestine's evil. It's him having an opinion is completely non-starter for it me. It doesn't help Palestine having Iran's backing, but right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> exactly oh well, yeah so again it's so convoluted and stupid and like he never sh- like if he wants to improve his life which it sounds like his main things are that he's going to be stepping away from streaming to try to do some self-improvement shit he's gonna be cleaning his own house he's gonna be de- how gonna- does he not have a maid bro well he he he, yeah, he brings it up I make? in this video he brings it up he says he could have a maid but he is choosing to just take care of start taking care of himself better yeah. So he's going to be doing Start. that. You could, have, you could have started with the maid and then fired her. And it's like, all right, maybe I can do it by myself. Imagine if he started this live stream with a perfectly spotless, clean room. You should have had that it. That would have been a good start. You should have had it with an immigrant in the background picking stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> a Palestinian maid he hired. I'm going to start cleaning my room. You just see this old lady in the background. <laughs> you want to keep this? No, throw it. Throw it away. It's garbage. Hoarders are the opposite. They're like, all right, we're going to throw this away. No, no, I need that moldy sandwich for no, something no, no, else. No. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he, hopefully he does take care of himself a little better. Honestly, I don't. I, I, I think we all could improve a little bit. Everyone drink more water. Drink more water. Do more push-ups. Yeah. Except me. Yep. I, I have a broken wrist, have so I can't. a fridge under you your countertop Not filled yet. with uh, this water that paid an exorbitant amount of money to have product placement and smile to. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's a different video, Cody. <laughs> this is not good. These are in di- Like, the audience who's watching this mm-hmm. post live stream is not going to know that reference unless yeah. they watch the other video. And this might go yeah. out first. I so jump around a lot. You do. You crazy. You crazy that's little okay. fucker. Crazy bitch. It's called a callback. Silly little boy. You crazy bitch. All right. Uh, the other video we have to be talking about is going to be... Ju- okay, sorry. We're going to be moving into another... T- I'm doing it out of order. Transition. We're making it happen. We're moving into... <laughs> it's not live. 